Welcome to another episode of The Sims for the Royal Family of Windenburg. In this episode, I know in the last episode, if you saw it, I mentioned that we would be doing a birthday party for one of the kids of the royal family, but I had this idea to have an arranged marriage meeting between the prince and the princess of Willow Creek. So they actually have a daughter who is our prince's age, Prince Henry, and their daughter's name is Princess Alice. And they're the same age, so it's definitely going to be a uh, arranged marriage between the two of them. And we're going to actually have the royal family of Willow Creek over for dinner. So I'm going to have our queen invite them over. So we're going to plan a social event. It's going to be a dinner party, a little bit more formal. And this is actually the first time that Princess Alice of Willow Creek and Prince Henry of Windenburg will meet. So this is very exciting. So we're going to see how they get along. And we're going to start with our dinner party. And we'll invite them over. So we want the host to be Queen Isabel and King George. We want the guests. It's going to be our kids. And it's also going to be King Derek, Queen Elena. And we have, there we go, Princess Alice of Willow Creek. So we'll invite them over. I don't think we need a caterer because our butler actually is, I just asked him to make a party meal. So he can go ahead and do that. And yes, we're going to have them over at the Royal Family of Windenburg Palace. Okay, so we need to make drinks. We need to thank the guests for coming and we need to have them listen to music. So we also need to call the guests to a meal. So we'll do that once the food is ready. Our music is here in the ballroom slash throne room. So I'm going to have Queen Isabel start listening to the music. So I'll have her listen and then I'll have the king introduce them. And I'll have the king introduce himself when they get here. It usually takes a while for them to actually get to the house because <laughs> this lot is just so big. I mean, look at this. So it usually takes forever for them to actually appear but I don't even know where they are right now. Usually you can see them running towards them, but I don't see anyone yet. Is that them? I see movement. Oh, I see them. Yep, I see movement over here. So they'll be here slowly but surely. Most of the parties that take place at this palace, just nothing starts until about a quarter of the way through because that time is taken for just the guests to arrive on the lot. So they're all listening to music right now, so I guess we'll just have them do that while we wait for them to show up so we can take care of that small goal. So we'll have them all listen, and they're all dressed up in their little outfits. Oh, they're so cute. They're such a cute family. And then we have Princess Anna is upstairs. I'm going to have her come downstairs. I just realized her outfit's not very royal and elegant it's much but it's very cute it's definitely cute but I'll just have her you know what I'm probably gonna have her stay up there because there's not much for her to do downstairs but if she wants to come downstairs she can so we have everyone dancing right now we need the sims to become playful and we also need to thank them for coming and make drinks so are our guests here yet I don't see them man it takes a long time for them to get here seriously um, okay, I see them coming. I actually didn't even have this gate here in the back at first. I just added that recently because they would have to go all the way around to the front for them to actually get to the house. So this was just so much easier for them to get inside the house. So first we have Princess Alice is entering first. I don't know where her parents are. Either, I don't think they're here yet. Yeah, they're not here yet. Okay, well, I'm going to have... The king introduced himself first to Princess Alice. So we'll just have, oh, well, I guess he already knows her, but we'll thank her for coming. I don't know if he's saying hi to her, like way over here or something, but he can go greet the princess. And then after that, I'll have our Prince Henry meet her for the first time. Oh, and it looks like Princess Anna came downstairs. She decided to come down. Okay, and then now this is Queen Elena. 
she looks like she's pregnant too. So Queen Elena's here. She's actually one of our very good friends. I think she's much closer with the king than she is with the queen because they've been in the political career longer than the queen has. So he knows her a lot. I actually think, are they related? Maybe not. I know that the king of Willow Creek is king, is our king's, hu uh, pff, not husband, is our king's cousin. So it looks like Prince Henry and Princess Alice are actually, I don't know if that's considered second cousins. I don't actually know how that quite works. But, oh my gosh, did you guys just see Princess Anna just went nude and then changed back to her clothes? <laughs> that's not very ladylike. Okay. Let's see. Why don't we have... I don't know where Princess Alice went. We do need to call everyone to the meal soon, though. Why don't we do that? Because then Prince Henry can introduce to him... He can introduce himself to her when... Oh, okay. Well, it looks like Alice already helped herself to the meal. So I'm just going to bring this meal upstairs. And then Princess Alice can come join us. Oh, gosh. It doesn't even look like anyone's at the table. That's not good. Okay, well, really quickly, why don't we have us set the table. We'll do um, border. We can do that. And then we'll have Princess Cora. Oh, gosh. Prince Henry is going through a phase. That music was super scary. And I just saw the ghosts appear when the music appeared, so I was freaking out a little bit. I was like, I don't think that's the music that they play when the ghosts appear. But I'll have Princess Cora clear off the table, and then I'll have the prince set the table. And then he can also set the table. Actually, I'll have Princess Cora set this side of the table. So we're doing fancy setting, and we're doing border. So they'll do that really quickly while the adults socialize. So we'll chat with Queen Elena. It looks like she already helped herself to some food. I'll ask her her baby's due date. And let's see, Prince, uh, sorry, Queen Isabel can thank her for coming. They're just chatting. I really love this dress, too. This comes with the, what is it, like vintage glamour pack or something. It's super cute. Okay, and let's see how our prince and princess are doing. They're setting the table. It looks like. Prince Henry, oh, I guess he's setting all the table, but it doesn't look like he was able to get to here. So I will have Princess Cora finish setting that up, new border. And then I'm also going to have us put the food, oh, did I put the food in the king's inventory? Maybe not. Did I put it in the queen's inventory? What did I do with the food? Uh, oh, there we go. Princess Cora had it. Okay, there we, uh, I'll just put it right here. I don't even know what this is. Chicken nuggets? <laughs> oh my gosh, that's not very elegant for a dinner party. Can we not make anything else? Can you please make something else? I'll call us to the meal with that, f uh, whatever, it's fine. We're going to have chicken nuggets. We actually don't have much time left, so we definitely need to eat soon. So I'm going to call everyone to the meal so everyone can eat. Uh, oh, why can't I call anyone to the meal? Do I need to put it over here, maybe? Um, uh-oh. Why can't we call anyone? Pack. Uh-oh. All right, we need more food then, and fast. So, let's see, do we have anything in the fridge? We need to check. I might just have someone, yeah, it doesn't look like we have anything in the fridge. So, it looks like we're going to need us to make more food. So, we'll have our butler make something else. I will ask him to very, oh, you know what, I'm going to have to have the king tell, oh, you know what, the queen's already here. So I'll have her, I'm going to pause because we're running out of time. Can I pause? Oh, it's not letting me pause. Okay. Can I, come on. Oh man, this is taking forever. Why won't it show up? This is very frustrating. 
Okay, I just paused it, and it's not pausing. What is going on? Everything's... Okay. There we go. Nope. Pause again. Okay. Let's assign task. Please cook a party meal very quickly. Oh, well, it looks like the queen's actually cooking something. Why can't I call anybody to the meal? That's the only thing we have to do. I guess because it's chicken nuggets, maybe? Hope not. All right, well, you know what? The whole point of this is for the prince to meet Princess Alice. So let me do that now. I'm going to find Princess Alice. I don't know where she went. Oh, there she is. Okay, she's upstairs. They're all just hanging out upstairs in the king and queen's bedroom. Interesting. So we'll have the prince do a friendly introduction. Ah, shoot. I ran out of time. <laughs> I always do this. Oh my gosh. This happened in the second episode too. I ran out of time and it always happens to me. And it's always because of the freaking food. I need to just have a bunch of meals prepared before the parties. But I still am going to try to get the prince to meet the princess. See if she... He, oh, please don't leave before we introduce ourselves. Okay, I think he's going. All right. Man, what a sucky dinner party. Okay, there we go. They're finally meeting. Okay, so they're meeting each other for the first time. It looks like they're getting along pretty well. He did a friendly introduction. I'm going to give a heartfelt compliment. And then maybe talk about school. It's 4.30 a.m. I didn't realize how late we started the dinner party. But we'll just have them chat for a little bit. But it looks like Princess Alice will need to go home soon. But right after this, I'm going to maybe invite her over so they can learn to get along a little bit more. Because we do want them to end up together for sure. I know that it doesn't show, you know what, I hate this. It doesn't show if there's someone who's like, I know they show aunt and uncle, but they don't show step parents and they don't show much besides like first cousins and second cousins. All right, I need to turn them down because their voices are a little loud. So yeah, there are second cousins or something along those lines, but it doesn't show up like that at all. But if you look at the family tree, I'm sure they would show up on there, but their parents are cousins, so... I'm also going to have Princess Cora introduce herself to her because she should know who she is. Oh, I also, because we have a, whoops, yeah, we have a kids club. So this is just a place for all the kids to hang out. So I didn't even realize I forgot to add Princess Cora. I'm also going to add Princess Alice and we have room for one more. So I'm going to add the Prince of Oasis Springs, Prince Adrian. So that's just a place for them to hang out, get to know each other. I also have a teen club because it's usually, for example, the royals only really marry other people from higher families. Like we have the dukes and the marquees and all of them as well. So it's just a place for them to get to know who they are and meet them before they end up getting married when they get older. Because usually when I see a family and the children have aged up into young adults, I usually just find another family that has uh, another sim available to get married. And I just pick randomly who marries each other unless they are the prince or princess of one of the kingdoms. So it looks like Princess Alice. Oh, she's going downstairs. It looks like she's hanging out a little bit longer. Hmm. Okay. Well, why don't we... It's a Friday, and it looks like they're going to have to go to school soon anyway. Why don't we invite... I'm going to just start a club gathering because I know it's 6 a.m. And they're going to have to go to school soon, but it'll get a ch it'll give us a chance to meet them. Oh, it's also Love Day. 
I'm not going to pay attention too much to the holidays, though, in this series because that's what I have the Sim Season series for. So I actually am going to be posting a video of Love Day soon on the Sims Season series. So you guys can check out Love Day on there if you would like to. So it looks like they're doing their homework right now, and we need to... Let me see where Princess Alice went. She went downstairs. I don't know why she's hanging out in the kitchen. Maybe she's just really hungry. Yeah, it looks like she took some food. So can you invite a kid to do homework with you? Or you can say, like, do homework together, I think. Let's see. Um, complain about love day. Sing about love day. Can kids give valentines to each other? Because that would be so cute. I don't think you can, but that would be adorable. Okay, it doesn't look like there's any option to do homework together. I thought you could do that with kids. Maybe not. Hmm. Well, he definitely needs to do his homework before school starts. Well, let's see. What does Queen Isabel... I guess we can... Aw, look at this! They're so cute! Oh my gosh, that just looks like it's hurting the child. I think they got a little bit too violent with the playing with the kids. I don't know. That just looks like it hurts. It's so cute, though. The interaction's adorable. But yeah, maybe they could have toned that part down a little bit. Oh, well. They're so cute, though. I also really love Queen Isabel's dress. That was the dress from the last episode. I got a bunch of new CC, and that was one of the dresses that we got, so I'm glad she actually got to wear it. Let's see. What are the kids up to? It looks like school is going to start soon. Yeah, it looks like school is going to start in one hour, so that's fine. Looks like someone's calling King George. All right, he can go to work. That's fine. And Prince Henry's just working on his homework. I think the princess also should work on her homework. Oh, it looks like she already finished. Good job, Princess Cora. She already finished. Okay, so you guys will get to meet the other kids. So this is Prince Adrian. He's the Prince of Oasis Springs. This is Sir Javin. He, I believe his father, it's either, I don't think it's the Duke of Willow Creek, but it might be the Marquis of Willow Creek. I'm not sure. I have to double check. I'm not a huge fan of his clothes. I think he should definitely change. Um, and then who's is this? Sir Peter of Willow Creek. So I don't think he's the Duke's child either, but he's someone's child. I don't know. It's hard to tell. There are just so many noble families that you can't keep up with them sometimes. So, but that's fine. Oh, who is this over here? We have, why is his name away over there? I can't see that. Okay, I need to zoom out to see this. Prince Jared. Oh, so he's also one of the princes of Oasis Springs. So him and his brother are both in this group. And then I know there's a few more. There's Princess Alice. I'm glad that Princess Alice got to meet Prince Henry because they can definitely start hanging out more. And I mean, they're going to have a ton of time before they're adults to get to know each other. So that's definitely fine. And this is Lady Lindsay of Willow Creek. So I also, I think she is, let's see, who is the other boy here? Sir Peter, that's definitely Sir Peter's sister. Oh, they're actually their cousins. There's so many people that's related to them and I never have any idea who. <laughs> so... Oh, okay, so Lady Lindsay is not Sir Peter's sister because that's not one of the cousins, but Sir Peter is their cousin. And then, oh yeah, well, Prince Henry's her brother. Prince Jared is also their cousin. So the princes of Oasis Springs is their cousins. Man, Everett, they're just related to everyone, seriously. But that's also why we couldn't get one of the princess from Oasis Springs to be married to one of our princesses or princess because they're their cousins so I don't think they'll let you do that but um Princess Cora will probably end up marrying a duke's son or somewhere along those lines so I mean there's plenty of families around for them to do that but it looks like they actually need to go to school yeah go to grade school so that will be all for this episode. It was just a little quick episode. I just wanted to give you guys a little bit more insight of the families that we have living in the kingdoms and 
now we have something to look forward to when Prince Henry and Princess Alice grow up. I'm so excited because if they do get along and if they end up liking each other and dating, then it will be this grand royal wedding that we'll get to have and it'll just be a lot of fun. So that's all for this episode. In the next episode, I'm going to give you guys a tour of the Palace of Willow Creek and the Palace of Oasis Springs. And you guys will get to see how cool those are. I downloaded those from the gallery. I download everything from the gallery if you haven't noticed already. And I just make a few changes to it. But it will also be one, of, let's see whose birthday's next. I know I checked this in the last episode. Yeah, we still have a while until Princess Anna's birthday. So we'll probably check out the houses before then. And then we're also going to get Prince Henry and Princess Alice to get to know each other a little bit more and we'll hang out with their clubs as well. Thank you all so much for watching. Please like and subscribe and we will see you all the next episode.